Hello guys I am Styx. And welcome to the Rapso Network. And how much do you know Brazilian Carnival? If the answer is nothing, I will explain what it is. The Carnival of Brazil is an annual Brazilian festival held between before Ash Friday afternoon into Ash Wednesday at noon, which marks the beginning of Lent, the 40-day period before Easter. During Lent, Roman Catholics and some other Christians traditionally abstained from the consumption of meat and poultry. So this means Carnival started as a religious festival, but it evolved, and became the most popular holiday in Brazil and has become an event of huge proportions. The country unifies completely for almost a week and festivities are intense, day and night, mainly in coastal cities. Rio de Janeiro's carnival alone drew an average of 5 million people per year before 2020, with 500,000 being foreigners. Brazilian carnival in essence is a synthesis of European, indigenous, and Afro-Brazilian cultural influences, each group has played an important role in the development of the structure and aesthetic of the Brazilian carnival of today. For instance, the main rhythms used in carnival celebrations were developed by Afro-Brazilians and make use of European instruments like the Cavaquinho and Pandeiro to create melodies and arrangements, also the fantasies and costumes in the Brazilian carnival borrow concepts from the clothing of the natives, like the use of feathers and the tendency to use lighter pieces of clothing. While all Brazilians love carnival, the black communities are its most avid participants. This likely stems from the community's historical love of carnival, as African slaves were freed annually for the festival's duration. In Rio, residents of the cities, largely black, favelas, or slums, are especially enamored of carnival, joining samba schools and working hard on costumes. To them, carnival and samba are as beloved and important as soccer. What about women? Since when they appear and enchant us with their beauty and dancing moves? Well, in the beginning few women participated, because, throughout the colonial period, the street was a male space. The role of the woman was to stay at home, it was more common for women to participate in the so-called family carnival. Since that period, carnival would undergo a new transformation between the late 1920s and the early 1930s, when the first samba schools were founded, and with them, women began to conquer their own space in the carnival parades being the queens of the party. What about you? What do you think about carnival? Leave your comment in our comments session. That's it for me. Don't forget to subscribe to the Rapso Network. Bye bye.